Hi everyone, I'm ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, speaking to you from the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. And today I'm here to tell you about the European AstroPi Challenge. And I have a big surprise. The European AstroPi Challenge is an ESA education project run in collaboration with the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Students and young people can conduct scientific investigations in space by writing computer programs that will run on the AstroPi computers. Speaking of the AstroPies, they were originally launched in 2015 with Team Peak's Principia mission. They were made up of two specially prepared first-generation Raspberry Pi computers with specific sensors. Since then, they've been used to run programs for more than 35,000 young people. Many of my astronaut colleagues and I have all acted as ambassadors for the challenge. Now, after two years of secret development, it's time for an upgrade. Here with me today, I am pleased to reveal the brand new AstroPi computers for the ISS. These AstroPies are packed with amazing features that open a world of opportunity for a new experiment. Let's take a look at some of the specs. At the core, we have the Raspberry Pi 4. It has the power of a desktop computer and 8 GB of RAM, all packed into the size of a credit card. Next up, we have the Sense Hat, which houses the basic environmental sensors and an LED display. For the new AstroPi hardware, we've added two new sensors, a color sensor that will allow you to measure the brightness and color of light in the surrounding area. And a motion sensor that can detect warm objects moving in front of the AstroPi. A new 12 megapixel camera allows the AstroPi to take images with comparable quality to your mobile phone. We have three interchangeable lenses, which will allow you to observe Earth in detail. AstroPi IR also has a red filter, which will allow you to measure the health of the Earth's vegetation. Finally, we have a machine learning accelerator. As AI and machine learning become more and more present in our lives, the AstroPi team wants to give young people the chance to explore this frontier firsthand. AI experiments require a lot of computing power. So by connecting the new AI accelerator, the AstroPies can focus on core experiment tasks, while the accelerator tackles the heavy-duty processing. It can perform up to 4 trillion operations every second. These AstroPies are going to be used for the first time in this year's European AstroPi Challenge. There are two missions that you can apply for. In the beginner level, Mission Zero, the goal is to write a computer program that shows a message to the astronauts and tells us a measurement about the environment inside the ISS. This year, you will also have the chance to vote for your favorite choice of name for these two new AstroPi units. In the more advanced level, Mission Space Lab, you will design an experiment and write a computer program to collect data from the ISS. You can find all the information you need and more on the AstroPi website. So, are you up to the challenge? Both missions are open for submissions from today. I can't wait to see your experiments. Good luck.